Hey, hey. Um, I just quickly want to talk about the subsurface getter update in Blender 5. Uh, so Blender 5 is still alpha, um, so we probably shouldn't be using it, especially not in production. But it's quite an exciting update. So as you can see, they introduced multi-bounce in order to get rid of these dark areas we usually get to see. Um, let me show you in the actual blend file itself. Ah, I'm here. So this is now a simple head which has quite a strong subsurface getter applied and we are in Blender 4.5 right now. But you can see how it discolors. It gets like these blue areas where it gets like thinner, um, well, the thickness is reduced. While when we check it in Blender 5, that's the exact same file, um, you can see the update and this is quite exciting. So, yeah, and but this update itself allows us to fight a different problem in Blender where the subsurface getter only sees its own object. So, as soon as there's a different object, the rays which go through the material don't see the other object. Um, to make this clearer, I have an example here. Let me disable the world, so... And turn on the sun. Okay, we have the cylinder here, and we have a cube here, and the sun is shining from the back. So, you might assume that the cylinder is blocking out the subsurface scatter, but it doesn't. It will only do so if these two are the same objects. So if I combine them with Control J, now we can see the cylinder is being seen by the shader as well, and we get the expected result. Um, okay, we keep this in mind because we have like some real life examples. Let's say a set of teeth. So this is now the same thing. We have the gums and we have the teeth, their own object. And as you can see, both the subsurface get a material on them. And these teeth are glowing, especially when I turn off the world, you can see they are completely glowing because they're being hit by the light above here and they don't see the gums. Hope this makes sense. If it doesn't, it doesn't matter. Um, because what we would have to do, we would have to combine them with Control J as well. Well, let it think. Oh, I think I killed it. Ah, there we go. So now the gums are actually blocking out the teeth and they're not glowing anymore. But we're getting the issue which we had in Blender 4.5 and before, where on thinner areas we get this really darkening and the blue discoloration. Also, we don't really want to make them one object because usually when I model, I model my teeth separate to my gums. Um, so let's undo this step. Uh, join here. And we are back to where we were. What instead we can do is we virtually join them. So we're tricking Blender to think that this is one object. And this we can do by let me, uh, just having a simple object like a plane in this case. And we put a geometry nodes modifier onto it. Let me go on geometry nodes, which really just takes a collection, realizes the instances, and puts the result back out. That's all there is. So if now here we put our teeth, are called SSS objects, but in here are 
the gums and the teeth, so the subsurface getter objects I want to combine. Um, we put this into the collection here. They're being combined. Um, it's the same as if you would have hit Control J for join these two objects. So we're getting um, proper occlusion, so the teeth are not going through. Like if I disable the realize instances, it's still two objects and the teeth are glowing. If I enable realize instances, we get a proper occlusion, but we also get these ugly darkening areas. So now let's check this one in Blender 5. I save it, I go back to Blender 5 and open this scene file here. Okay, so we have here our combined object and with the realize instances of now, if I turn this on, look at that, that's awesome. Um, the, the light rays go through each subsurface getter shader and treat them as one object and we, with the Blender 5 update we do not get this darkening areas. Check in Blender 4.5 to compare. This is 4.5 and this is 5. I find this is quite a significant um, update and we finally can can do proper shading with subsurface scatter and not having just yeah well deal with it and so that's really all I want to show. I hope this is helpful. Um, I personally think I'm gonna jump to Blender Five right away and because this is too big of a thing. Then um, have a good day and see you next time. Bye bye.